Hi Sagittarius, I'm hoping you guys are doing well. Thank you so much for joining me. So we're going to go ahead and do a reading from the 14th to the 20th. We will combine here a little bit of astrology with tarot. So we're going to look at your sun in this situation. We will look at your purpose, your destiny, even overall your ego and your happiness. We're going to look at the moon, which will portray your feelings, Mercury, when it comes to the way you think, but also regarding any communication, any contracts. We will look at Venus love beauty success also when it comes to the feminine energy mars we will look at your drive your strength and also the masculine jupiter where your lack will be your courage your belief and then we will also look at your money house and see what messages are coming in for sagittarius sun moon rising and venus 14th through the 20th what are the energies look at it like transits especially for those that um, know regarding your birth chart <clears throat> Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, please. One more. All right, we do have the Page of Cups here, Pisces Energy, so it's all about love. Wow, another water. A message of love with the Three of Cups and the Page of Cups together. It's very beautiful. Mercury in Cancer, and then Pisces has that Piscean energy. That's what I'm getting with it, but we'll see. And five of swords, while well, someone is conflicted over this expression, reconciliation coming together, or apology, especially if there's been some type of hurt. We will see. All right. Oh my goodness. That is such a beautiful combination with the sun and the six of wands. I will explain in a little bit. The magician. Wow. The fool. The king of cups. Oh wow. This is so beautiful. The empress. The Ace of Wands, and then the Seven of Pentacles. It, the Seven of Pentacles is nice too. It's a, actually a very, very nice reading. Let's start with the Six of Wands. Sorry for the glitch uh, there. So with the uh, Six of Wands here, that is coming when it comes to your sign, to your sun sign, or again, your happiness, your joy, your spirit, your destiny, you're looking very successful. I feel like you're on top of the world here with the Six of Wands. You're feeling that you're getting attention easily. Uh, this is the card of fame and success, and this combination is perfect. Some of you already are, again, in the spotlight. You might be very much in the spotlight in a good way. Again, kind of look at it as people expect you to be successful, or this is how you're going towards uh, this destiny. Very much, I, I feel like, is the best card to have here when it comes to joy, happiness, success overall. And why not? Even when it comes uh, to your feelings, <laughs> you have the magician. Which is interesting, right? The moon is all about feeling, but with a magician, it is kind of thinking about your feeling, manifesting your feelings here. Two major arcanas, even when it comes to Mercury with the fool, and even when it comes to the moon. I feel like it's very nice because it's in sync here that you want to start something new. You are driven with, with the six of wands there. At the same time, you're feeling like you can, there's nothing here that you cannot manifest. That's where. Let me see here. That's where your feelings are um, in this case. When it comes to your mind, it looks like you are on a, a, a new journey. You're taking uh, with Mercury here, uh, which, as I mentioned, is communication in this case. It's like you're ready to take this leap of faith, ready to start something new, ready to manifest here. And again, because you feel right now that it's the right time, whatever success that you want to go after. It's very beautiful, Sagittarius. I feel like this is going to be your month, your season. Uh, of course, we do have the solar eclipse here going on on the 14th when this starts. It's such a nice energy to take this leap of faith, to, to feel like you can start from the beginning, that you have all the capabilities. That's how you're feeling. All the tools available and feeling on the top, top of the world here. Now, when it comes to this situation, Venus, which represents, again, as I mentioned, your uh, pleasure, your success as well. It has to do with the King of Cups. If you are, uh, Venus is in Scorpio, by the way, which I know there are plenty of Sagittarius um, that have Venus in Scorpio energy. So this is your Venus return for some of you. This may be the person here that, again, that you are attracted, that you are find very attracted. Or this may be you. When it comes, again, to this, it's all about love. It's all about emotions. You're feeling right now the longing, the wanting, the desires, the emotional connection. You want a deep emotional bond. 
that's what attracts you right now. It may be towards this person or this may be you, but it's very beautiful because even when it comes to your drive, Mars energy here, we have love. The answer is love. The masculine may be very much finding you uh, with beauty, charmed energy, total package type of situation going on. But at the same time, this, this is you seeking pleasure. Another Venus energy, by the way. And it's coming with Mars. It's the masculine and the feminine together here. Especially for, uh, again, if you look at synastry between two people, this is a very good combination. We'll tell how good, again, two people are attracted towards one another. And there's a lot of attraction going on. There's a lot about pleasure going with what you want. There's, um, this is kind of not war, just love, because Mars is also very much aggressive, assertive. But no, you're feeling very much surrounded by uh, luxury here, surrounded by luxury uh, in this situation. And the physical energy is all about this uh, feeling bountiful, feeling beautiful, feeling that that's what you want to concentrate in. And we're continuing here, even in this situation with Jupiter, uh, with the Ace of Wands. Your confidence is this, again, new beginning, this new passion, giving birth to something beautiful here. Uh, you believe that this new spark, this new joy that is coming towards you, it is something that, again, you want and you're ready to open the door. You're ready to start something. You're ready to, uh, it looks like something has been planted here and it's coming in a fiery way. But at the same time, um, with uh, I'm looking at the greenery here. There's, there's something very abundant. Because of that um, emperor's there, something is happening here that you feel finally it's the right timing, it's the right way. We're going to clarify in a little bit. What is happening with your money? What is happening here when it comes to your values? Well, it looks like you have invested something and you're waiting for the rewards. So again, it may be that there's certain things that you still have to work in this situation, but the, words are, uh, the rewards are coming. I don't know why I cannot talk today. I'm having such a hard time. The rewards are coming towards you, um, Sagittarius. Let's clarify. Let's see what's going on. Very, very nice. Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What's going on with the Six of Wands, the Magician, the Fool, the King of Cups, the Empress, the Ace of Wands, and the Seven of Pentacles. All right, let's see. The Queen of Swords, and we had the Queen of Pentacles there and the Knight of Cups. So romantic feelings. This is so nice. I mean, wow. What is this accomplishment? What is this success? It's, it's so nice. Um, by the way, Venus in um, Aries, and then we have Jupiter in Leo, both fire, both trining here. You are, again, as I mentioned, expect, expect successes. I'm really sorry, guys. I'm, maybe I'm tired from all the readings. Um, there's a lot of achievements coming in. There's a lot of reunion. There's a lot of recognition that is coming your way, Sagittarius. So be open to it. Again, I feel like you are because even with the Ace of Wands, you're ready for that new beginning. That's very nice. <laughs> Remember the Ace of Wands here that is coming in your beliefs again and in your luck. And in uh, when it comes to Jupiter expansion, well, look at you. you. You're feeling that something very passionate is manifesting towards you. That There's this... It actually can be very telepathic because the magician represents Mercury, represents mind, and the moon is very much that inner knowing, that feeling that you just know. And it has to do with this new passion, with this new chemistry, or some of you starting something in your life. This new passion at the beginning, you can feel it within your soul. It is very, very nice. I'm feeling uh, even an enthusiastic talking about this. Like I feel like it's your energy. Okay, so getting out of the cold, when it, when it comes to Mercury, again, when we, as we mentioned, has to do with communication. Uh, some of you, maybe even people that surround you in this situation or any contracts, you're getting out of the cold. You're ready. If you guys have been going on through financial difficulties, remember you are waiting for something here. That means that you're ready to take this new beginning. You're ready to take this risk. Again, it may be a concern of what will be left behind. 
uh, if there's going to be some type of financial concern in this case, but your mind is saying, go for it, take this risk, risk. And remember, your purpose and your destiny is towards this achievement, is towards this reunion, a wedding for some of you here, engagement and honeymoon. But again, it's coming in a very successful way, in a very nice way. Let's see what this King of Cups is. Well, the King of Cups, and again, they're coming with pleasure, love, in this situation, I already explained that. They're expecting. They're waiting for something. They're waiting for the ships to come in. That's what the King of Cups wants. It looks like, remember, we have the Ace of Wands. It's like they, they know now that it's about time. It's almost there, preparing, anticipating. Very, very nice. Wow. We have Virgo energy, Hermit. So the Empress um, and the Hermit together, I feel like this is very earthy. Very, very earthy. It's like finding the way to this, uh, I wanted to say queen, but she is the queen of all queens. Or again, this is the unconditional love. So I feel like with Mars, that's where the drive, that's where the detail orientation is in this situation. Finding happiness, finding pleasure, finding this overall, again, abundant energy. That's where your uh, drive is going to be. And that's where the masculine is going. They want to go towards the empress. Again, to the one that they believe is the total package or what they love unconditionally. Okay, so it's time to move uh, again from anything that you have waited. The Ace of Wands is about some type of things that you have been retreating, recovering. Now it's time again to kind of plant this seed, this spark, this joy, belief that this is not something that you again need to wait for. And because, again, as I mentioned, this has to do with your confidence and your lack and your belief is saying basically it's time for this new startup. And you already are manifesting this when it comes to your feelings, when it comes to your emotions. And uh, again, I feel like you are going to have the determination to start this new beginning or this new passion or a new person may coming towards you as well. Some of you may be waiting for some type of divorce situation, some type of money. Again, um, or assets or finances there are in a kind of the justice does represent legal matters if it's not legal matter again waiting for uh, things to balance out that's when it comes to your assets and your finances what you're waiting is something that will happen and again feeling like there needs to be fairness in this situation if some of you have gone through some type of hurt again remember you have the five of pentacles in your mind and when it comes to contracts even some type of litigation here so waiting while again finally getting this justice that's what happens uh, is happening in your assets in your finances or that's what you need to know in this case it's all about timing things are going to be right in this case I hope this does resonate with you guys. In the extended, we will just look at who is coming towards you and uh, we will pull uh, some Oracle deck uh, cards regarding love. I hope this uh, does resonate with you guys. I appreciate all of you. Thank you. Bye-bye.